All right, so one thing that we all need to work on and we all work very hard on is the technique of a pirouette. We are doing jazz pirouettes in this video, which means parallel and square off the arms in an L. If it were ballet, it would be turned out. The arms would be rounded. If it was ballet or lyrical, it would be rounded because that is the correct procedure for ballet lyrical technique. So for, for jazz and, and, and contemporary, we do parallel and we square it up. All right, ready? So we're gonna do tendu. We're gonna do some releves first and fourth position back. Pull up to releve and balance and close. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, you gotta have a dance in a week, over a week actually now. And tendu. Oh yeah, go ahead and do the other foot, tendu. And fourth and releve and close. And we're gonna square off the arms. Time to do right. One more time on releve. Square, releve, and close. And time to do left and square and releve and close. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's okay. It, sometimes it's hard to make the transition between turn out and parallel. When you turn, it will automatically, I'm sure, go to parallel. So now we're gonna do single pirouettes. Remember on a single pirouette, okay, this is a big thing even for some of our older people that I've been fussing about lately when I've seen it. Don't wind up, we're not playing softball. Your arms, yeah, put your arms in your fourth position for me. Now, do it wrong, take the arm behind your shoulder. Boom, there it is, we don't wind up, ever. Judges will nail you for that one. Do not wind up your arms. So, we're gonna do single pirouettes. On a single, you do not need that much force. It's more about the releve and the lift of your core and pressing your shoulders down. Anytime you pirouette, anytime you turn, shoulders press down your back because you have to engage your back in order to turn smoothly. If your body's all over the place and your core and your shoulders are not engaged, that turn becomes very loosey-goosey, which is why, if you think, why do I fall out of my turns? I would almost guarantee you this is one of the reasons why you're not tightening your core enough and you're not pressing your shoulders down enough. So, here we are. Singles and tendu right and forward. Square it up and single and close. And you can go out. Yes, because look, our littles especially go out. Tendu left and back. And single and out. Now, older ones, of course, y'all don't do out. Y'all do, sometimes you do. It just depends on the choreography. So for the video's sake, we're going to go out for these turns. Now, let's do doubles on the right and left. And time to do. Remember to press those shoulders and spot. Snap, snap, and out. There you go. It's okay. <laughs> time to do left and back. And turn, turn, and close and out. Yes. Now, when you after that turn, really sharp force out. You don't have to step it out nice and easy, easy, easy. You can go boom. Hit it, give it an accent. All right, ladies, um, your choice, double or triple. If you can hit a triple, please do. Ready, and, time do, and four, push it. One, two, three, out. Yes, here we go. Do the other side. Okay, here we go. Time do, and back. Push, push, oh yeah. <laughs> and as normal, as you can see, one side technically usually is better than the other. However, it is important, not girls, yes it is, to practice both <laughs> sides, yes. All right, now, I think that's it for